Dear Future Jason, Please watch this really quick, informative video if you ever smack your head so hard that you completely forget how to shoot 35mm film. Glad I made the video. Today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Don't worry, you're not accidentally on drugs. That's just how this film stock is supposed to look. Yep, I'm talking about Lomo Turquoise, Lomography's next foray into film stocks that make it look like you just butt chug psilocybin. Turquoise has actually been around in the past, but it was discontinued by Lomography way before Fuji made discontinuing film cool. Back in 2018, I had a chance to shoot some Turquoise in 120, and I definitely wasn't a fan. I found it to be too weird and detached from reality. But then again, I didn't know what the f I was talking about in 2018. Last year, in 2021, when Lomography announced the reunion tour for Lomo Turquoise, a lot of people were in one of two camps. Camp, that's awesome, I can't believe we get Turquoise back. Or camp, what the f*** is this shit? At first, I definitely belonged to that second camp, but when Lomography reached out and sent a roll my way, I decided to sack up and give it another shot. After all, I've changed a lot since 2018. Not only do I get hangovers, even if I don't drink, but I also shoot Lomo Purple pretty consistently, so maybe this turquoise thing has some legs. <laughs> anyway, my forbidden temptation, Caleb and I headed out to Malibu, and after struggling to load the M6 in front of a crowd of laughing onlookers for what felt like two hours, we finally got around to shooting some beautiful architecture and saturated colors. Turns out the saturated colors thing is kind of useless. This film stock turns literally every color into either turquoise or orange. It's kind of like a Hollywood movie colorist in that way. But yeah, I'd say that that's the iconic characteristic of this film stock. It turns deep blue skies orange. Furthermore, as you can see from this bad photo, it turned the yellow flowers here turquoise. So yeah, turquoise and orange, that's it. That's all you get. You can either make peace with that now or grow old and yell at the neighborhood kids about it from your front porch. The choice is yours. I guess the upside to all this is that you don't really need to wait for that rich, gorgeous sunset light because turquoise will probably mute it overall. Anyway, here's what it does to skin tones. It pretty much decimates them. Caleb looks like a cold, emotionless, and apathetic robot which is definitely my brand. So to my understanding, the roll that I received is sort of a pre-production test roll, and it came in a Lomo purple cartridge, so I don't know if it's gonna have DX coating or even what the final label's gonna look like. On the label for the roll that I got, it was listed as 400 ISO, so I guess if nothing else, you can expect that from this stock. I don't know if Lomo's gonna do that thing where they don't give you a DX code and then say you can shoot it anywhere from 100 to 400 ISO. I mean, that's great, but there's probably an ISO it performs best at, right? It's kind of like buying a new car and the driver's manual says, you can use any gas to run this engine from 93 octane all the way down to literally just farting directly into the tank. An early production roll basically means take all of my photos in this video with a grain of C41. Between when this roll was made and now, Lomo could have made some changes to the secret formula. This may or may not be the final version of the Lomo turquoise that we're going to get. They might still be tweaking the chemistry. I don't know. I wish I knew more to tell you all, but um, it's not like Mr. Lomography and I hang out on the weekends and do whatever it is kids do nowadays, like Netflix and chill or whatever. I was filming your ass. <laughs> Thank you.
I can imagine that Lomo will have the same output for this stock as they do for Lomo Purple, which means we'll probably see it in 35, 120, and 110. If it were to ever come to large format 8x10, I think I'd get Lomography's logo tattooed on my ass permanently out of pure excitement. Don't worry, it's just a photo of the inside of my elbow. When I saw these photos for the first time, I was immediately reminded of Led Zeppelin's album Houses of the Holy, which features altered colors and a vibrant orange sky. No, it wasn't shot on Lomo Turquoise, but with that album in mind, I started to see my photos a little bit differently somehow. Maybe it's that I started imagining all these photos as album covers, which I definitely feel like is Lomo Turquoise's true calling. Anyway, the roll that I received was only 24 frames long, so that's all you get for now. I guess the only remaining question is, is this film stock downright nasty or not downright nasty? I think it's for sure nasty as hell. It's very grainy, and it definitely pops really nicely in well-lit scenes like this one. It's definitely a look only a mother could love, but hey, that's what they used to say about me when I was a baby, and I turned out adequate. I think the big takeaway from all this is that we're incredibly lucky that there is a company out there putting in the work and creating the infrastructure to make tasty new film stocks in a world where new film stock is the stuff of urban legends like Bigfoot, the Chupacabra, and eating steamed vegetables without gagging. All we as film photographers should want is more options, more film stocks to have a hard time deliberating over when we head out to take photos. Well, that and total analog supremacy over digital, but one thing at a time. However, before I wrap up this video, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you're a photographer looking for work or to get your photos out there and seen by the masses, chances are you'll need a portfolio. How else is everyone gonna have access to your beautiful photos if not through the internet with your own personal website? Building a custom website is incredibly easy with Squarespace. You can start building from one of Squarespace's hundreds of template options that have been professionally designed and tailored for whatever direction you might take them. If you run into a snag, Squarespace even offers 24 seven award-winning customer support as well as an online forum to get specific answers to your questions or ask for design feedback. I've been using Squarespace Space to host my photography portfolio for a couple years now, and I can easily say it's been an absolute breeze to not only update, but change the layout should I feel the need for something new. So what are you waiting for? If you're ready to build a website, you can start a free trial today at squarespace.com slash grainy days. And if you use the code grainy days at checkout, you can get 10% off your first purchase. So what do you think? Are you excited that Lomo is bringing turquoise back? Or is this film stock just too tripping absolute ball sack on acid? for you. I'm happy to say I get the look now. It's a look that I wasn't evolved enough in 2018 to understand completely, but now I harbor a greater appreciation for it, which might be in part thanks to Led Zeppelin. It's artsy and it's abstract. While perhaps it's not the first film stock I'm going to think of to shoot most scenes with, I do hope to revisit it soon. I say hope because it's projected to come out in September of this year, and the pre-order for it is already long sold out. That and I don't like to make promises that I can't keep, because who knows? Volcanoes are still an omnipresent threat. You can't run from them, not even in your nightmares.